All right. Well, this is what you guys voted for. It's already some shops up. I'm like probably three, four hours late to Rusty Moose Mondays. What's going on, lads? Today, I did something a bit different. I decided to join an 850 pop server a couple hours after wipe with the sole intention of seeing how I could match up to the competition. Having no VPs and being a solo, I knew it was going to be quite the difficult task, so I went in with a plan to build a farm as quick as possible and try and sell my XSTs for whatever I ended up needing so I could hold my own versus the groups around me. This plan was great because if I did it quick enough, I'd be able to set the prices for teas and cloth and I knew the demand was going to be so high because it was wipe day and I really felt like this would give me a fighting chance if it ended up working out. Just want to also quickly say thank you for all the support on the recent video. We went from 5k to almost 7k in a matter of days and I'm very grateful for every single sub I get. So thank you very much. So, I figure we could do both. I can try and set up a farm on wipe day, which is going to be insanely hard. Because I'll have to farm all the scrap. But it's not impossible. Maybe like here. So that was the plan. I decided to build L24 because I knew every other area was going to be way too contested for just me alone. Little did I know though, I'd be moving into an absolute war zone. Well, that's not a good sign. P2 already. I, I thought. Oh god. I think this river's fine. This should be enough action. Oh god. Okay, for now we'll just two by one it. We'll expand off this. Okay, let's go. That, I'm surprised we actually got a base down like that. With our base down, I set out towards Mining Outpost to try and gather some scrap to get a tier 1 workbench because I knew the nail gun would be my best friend on wipe day. But as expected, no monument is uncontested on wipe day. Oh sh! There's another guy coming. Nice, they're fighting. Perfect. Here he comes. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. That's so big. That is huge. We gotta go. We gotta go. That 
that is so good. Oh my god. Dude, that was... Ooh! <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. 260 scrap. 260 scrap. 700 metal frags. Oh my gosh. Let's go. That is the fattest dub. Now at this point, my wipe was already going way better than I expected. I managed to upgrade my whole base to stone as well as get a metal door down. Shortly after this, I went back towards mining and picked off a couple more farmers, all while dodging the groups roaming my area with guns. Once I had a few extra prim kits lined up though, I decided it was my time to go try my hand at getting some more firepower. So I set off to some nearby shots up the hill from my base to see what I could get into. Someone's behind me. No, no! I didn't think he saw me run this way. Now in the moment, this definitely felt like a pretty big L. But I felt like I'd choked the fight and easily could have won. So I headed straight back and I found myself in quite an interesting situation very quickly. They live in here. Go help your teammate. Come on. No way. No way. Any brick bags? No way, I just did that. Oh, you guys messed up. And just like that, with a simple mistake from a three-man, we managed to go full deep and secure all their loot. Now, unfortunately, I was locked in, but I ended up bagging myself inside and using the scrap from my base and their base to tech tree all the way down to Dropbox so I can move the loot from their base to mine, giving me a near perfect start. And now, I had all the guns I would ever need as a solo and a lot of extra farm to start my master plan of controlling the market. Yes, dude, yes. First run back, let's go. Got two guns, yes, man. 
It's gonna be a slow process, but it's worth it. Now this was gonna be a very slow process to get all this loot out, as good as it was, because for every 5 minutes, I could only get 2 rows of loot out. So in the meantime, I worked on the base and did some necessary upgrading so I wouldn't get raided really early. Now as good as the loot was, the main benefit of this was just 45 minutes in a wipe I already had a tier 2 workbench. This would save me so much time and allow me to work on my base, which I started on immediately. This wipe, I was going for the same sort of design as last wipe, but the new and improved version. Now that I knew how it was laid out, I was able to plan ahead for easier expansion in the future. Let's get some honeycomb on. After upgrading my base a little bit, I did some more looking into getting the farming BPs, and then I got hit with quite the realization. Everything. It's looking like 100. One sixty, about four hundred, seven hundred. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna need a lot of scrap. Oh my! Now that I realized that even after getting a free tier two, I was gonna need over a thousand scrap just for the BPs. I set out to farm, but another way to get scrap fast is by killing the farmers. So I went back towards the old faithful mining outpost to see who I could find. Gamers going to recycle. Oh no! I'm newbie, no no! Dude, that is so okay, thank loud! You, thank you. And just like that, I just kept stockpiling loot, all while collecting more scrap. But it only took a matter of time before things started to get a little rough, considering I was solo. No way I don't make that play. 
Man. God damn it, dude. It's the same two kids outside my base. Probably that. Barely won that last bullet. All I wanted was my ice pick back, but I just got so much more. That's what those guys get. I should have won that fight at... I should have won that fight at Harbor on them anyways. Now don't get me wrong, winning these fights was great and all, but all that didn't change the fact that I still needed a lot of scrap. This is when I came up with the idea to sell sulfur and my extra diesel I got in a shop. Because I didn't see myself raiding anytime soon, considering I had no BPs and people were everywhere. So that is what I focused on next. Alright, let's get this shop going. I am ready. I think that's some pretty decent prices. Let's go with solo gamer, solo farmer, solo farmer just trying to make it. Facts. With our shop up and a little bit of advertising done in chat, I set out to try and get the last little bit of scrap that I needed, but that is when I had my first encounter with my neighbors, who will become very annoying as time goes on. Oh my. Oh my. the ice pick. Oh my. I, thought, I think there's another gun on the ground, but I don't care. And with that run, plus killing a SAR guy with some diesel outside my base, we now had enough scrap for all the BPs to finally get started on the farm. Now this wipe, I decided to do the same 3x3 design as last time, but this one, I had already pre-planned for a second floor, so it was going to be a lot easier to expand when I needed to. This was going to give me room for over 18 planters if I ever felt like I needed that many to produce as much tea and cloth as possible. In doing so, I'd end up selling this all for scrap so I could get all the BPs I wanted for future wipes. Dude. Maybe I could even sneak a horse in here real quick? Dude, if I could get a little horse thing going? Shoot.
At this point, it felt like the plan was coming together even better. Now I had a horse so I could use it to sell even more fertilizer for scrap, as well as help my plants grow even better, all while my vending machine was already selling at a good rate. With everything going so well, I continued to build up the farm. This will be for the solar panels. Sprinklers going. Like so. A little ceiling light action. Now shout out to the people in my discord, if you're not in there, I recommend joining, pretty cool guys in there. But they told me you always want the solar panels facing middle map for the best power generation. Knowing this, I now set them facing completely north since I lived really far south and continued to hook up the power. Noise. We're hooked up. With the farm fully operational, it was clone hunting time. I was hoping to at least get one Y and two Gs on each clone so they would grow at the same rate. I wasn't in search for a perfect clone, I just wanted to be the first shop on the map to be selling teas in mass quantities. But with that being said, we had some pretty decent luck. Oh, it looked good, but it's not good. No Gs at all. Trash. Uh, I'll take that. I'll, I will take that. Bad, bad. Oh! I mean, that is not bad. That is actually not bad. Oh, YYGG as well? Who's getting mowed down right outside my base, by the way? I'm just out here trying to farm. Chill out, guys. Ooh, YYGG, another good one. YYGG, we take that. Oh! <laughs> no! <laughs> it's so perfect. It is so perfect. That is almost the best. I think GGG YYY is better. But dude, let's go. Now, of course, curiosity got the best of me and I tried to go rat heli, but I quickly realized I was absolutely damn, no damn, match at all damn, for the groups I saw on White Day. So I went back and just started cloning all my new berries and hemp so I could get the farm rolling. And within about an hour, I had mass produced every clone to the point where I could actually start making teas pretty soon and selling them in my shop. Dirty snow. First harvest. Not bad, not bad. Now this is where things started to get a little bit weird. I crafted up a couple teas and listed them in my shop. Due to needing cloth, I decided to plant all the planters with hemp and then go AFK for a bit. After coming back, I realized something was a bit wrong. Did I have to give? Oh my god. This is going straight into the shop. Whoa. Oh. Okay. 
Apparently my shop got raided. I was <laughs> I was AFK. Well, waiting for my stuff to grow <laughs> and someone raided my shop. What the hell? Weird. Well, I have no ammo in this thing. Oh, I'm screwed. That's not good. They just happen to be door camping my roof. Dude, I'll let you in. It's my base. It's my base. I'll let you in. What the fuck? That's your base? What's going on, man? They still don't have TC yet. As soon as they do, they're gonna pick up this window. They can't really get out though. That's that's the one thing I got going for me, because I shut them in. They'd have to have more boom, which they might not. Oh no. One dead, one dead, one dead! I killed his teammate too! No! I need to, okay. My only chance is to sneak in this door behind him. No way. I won. I actually won. Just like that. I have to break these bags. 10,000 IQ. Nope. Give me that. Where's TC? I need to break it. I just need to break bags. It's fine.
How mad do you think these guys are that I just did that to them as a naked? They raid me while I'm AFK, and then I do that to them. Now even though I won, there were still a lot of problems here. One, they had sealed in my roof so I couldn't go out that way. Two, there was about a million grubs outside, all with shotguns sitting at my door. And three, I just broke TC and I didn't have enough wood to place another, therefore the raiders just came back and placed another one. This left me with really only one option, and that was to try and go out and get just enough wood to break the TC and come back and replace mine. TC's right here. That's them. I'm not gonna risk this kit. I need this kit. I'm just gonna try and break TC. Yes, that's enough for TC. Come on, come on. No, they're on the roof. Please tell me. He has a flashlight too. With my base now secured and fixed, I solely went back to the main mission of selling more tea for scrap. At this point, in total, I made 8 tech trash, 12k stone, 1 jackhammer, and over a thousand scrap off just selling my teas and cloth, and this was all within a day. Which in my eyes, wasn't bad at all, but I was still on a mission to make way more, so I started mass producing, and shortly after that, I decided I need to expand a little bit to a second floor. Now I'm not 100% sure on this, but for anyone that is trying to build a farm, here's a tip. If you ever have a second floor, you will need a fluid and switch pump, which I just placed. This is to move the water up. Just know that this needs to be wired, it only costs one power, and it also needs to have the water from your very last sprinkler on the pass-through ran to it to continue the flow. Yes sir, we're in business. And even with just this small addition, this allowed us to have all three berries growing at once, which really spiked our tea output. This allowed me to start selling teas in my shop again, and I even lowered the prices from 250 scrap to 200 to ensure that they would sell as this was now day two on a weekly server and people really wanted to be raiding. With my tea shop fully back up and running again, I finally decided to go check out my neighbor's base to see what was going on and what I could get up to. DBs in their turrets? What is this? Oh my god. <laughs> Yoink. Now how do I get out? Yoink. Six hundred low grade. That's hilarious. 
Now I ended up heading back to their base because I saw them leaving a tugboat, but genuinely I waited like 30 plus minutes for them to return and they never really did. That was actually the last time I saw them on the server. Now due to me not really having any more goals besides my farm, I decided to start contesting PvP fights around the area, just ratting people. I don't know why, I really wanted to use my kit sparingly, and I knew after every single fight there'd be so many grubs, so I figured as a solo it was nearly impossible. So I just went around and tried to grub as many people and make as many people mad as possible. Oh, I thought there was only two. Oh <laughs> I messed that up, oh no god. That guy didn't die? So as you can see, my time PvPing on the server was going decent, but I can never really find the opportunity to snowball to an AK. This was due to there not being too many AK roamers in the area, considering I lived in a pretty suboptimal spot. But I didn't mind, because that wasn't what I was going for. As you could hear in the last clip, drones were constantly flying to and from my base, leaving me with so much excess scrap and materials that I just started tech treeing down to whatever I wanted. And at this point, I felt like my wipe goal was technically complete. I managed to survive the wipe day of an 800 plus pop server solo, and ended up having a shop that wasn't just selling, but thriving on wipe day. Now that I've done farming for a couple wipes, I feel like it really can be an insane opportunity for solos like me to play the game in a different way and get rich all while having clans around you. From here, I did about everything I could to get raided, but it seemed like most groups that live near me either quit or were opposite time zones of me. Therefore, I figured it'd just be best to help out a few nakeds around my base considering I lived right next to a spawn point to get a start on the server. <laughs> yeah. 
here. Come on in, bro. Alright, what you need? What you need? You can have that. You can have that. Yeah, just take a couple thousand cloth and a few teas if you want. Just leave some for a couple more people. Have a great day, man. Yo, what's up, man? What's up, dude? Alright, man, what you need? Just some teas and cloth, or what you looking for? Guns, or what? I Unfortunately, I just gave yeah, a lot of my yeah, guns away. I don't have much. Yeah, take whatever you want oh, out of those boxes good, down there. Alright, thanks, man. Of course, of course. Right here, dude. God bless, man. Of course. Is this your farm? Yeah, it is. Oh, that looks nice. Thanks, bro. All right, dude, have fun. Right, thank you, man. You too, man. Who's out here? It's Temmie time. Dude, get in here. Get in here. I'm giving away stuff. Here, I got you some more things right here, man. Someone told me that there's free stuff here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, bro. Have a good day, Temmie. Yeah, bro. Where are you at? Free stuff? Who? Who? Right here. Come on in, dude. Yeah, probably in here is what you're going to want the most. Just look in the vending machine. Take whatever you want, man. Just try and leave, like, maybe, like, a little bit of cloth and one of the teas or something. Alright, thanks, man. Is there any reason you're giving some of this shit away? Oh, I'm, j I'm just quitting the server. I, I got what I wanted out of the server. It was fun. Yeah. Oh, shit, man. Well, everybody appreciates this, man. Thank you. Uh, of course. You're the fucking goat. Have a good day, man. Alright, I think I got everything I need, man. Thank you. Alright, bro, no problem. Man, they're all good people out in Rust like you, man. <laughs> you want some free stuff, dude? Here! Here, here, here! Take it and run, bro. Take it and run. You're getting camped. Run, run, right, run, right towards the water. There's people up here to the left. And overall, boys, that was the end of my wipe. I hope you guys enjoyed this high pop video, as it was very different from what I normally play, considering I usually play monthlies and this was a high pop weekly. I will say it was a lot more of a grind due to having to grind BP solo, but it wasn't a terrible experience for me, fortunately making some plays that set me up for success in the end. All in all, hope you guys enjoyed the video and make sure to tune in to my other ones if you did. Peace, boys.